challenge number two of the over a thousand dollars storage unit we got over on our main channel if you haven't seen that click one of the many links in the description that says part one part two and so on to go check that out because it was an awesome one now here i'm gonna go more into these boxes that i have more into detail because we don't do that over in the main channel so without further ado let's go the first box of the day let's get into it so right off the top, Mother Goose Rhymes. Let's see if I can find a date in here. It says the Southfield Pub Company, Akron, Ohio. We have Baba -Ba Black Sheep. These are very old pages, I can tell. So I don't want to ruin them. I don't see a date. It just says this is a Southfield book on the back. And then here is something on the front. So if you guys have any idea what kind of date that could be from let me know down in the comments as always so we have some kind of candle holder lantern type thing here again another one right here that looks almost the exact same but it's it goes from skinnier to bigger at the top and the other one was just straight we have a pretty heavy duty pitcher right here with some flower designs on it uh it doesn't say anything on it actually it says crystal clean made in yugoslavia 24 percent lead crystal and that's on this red sticker right here it's hard to focus because it's clear on camera but 24 percent crystal this little lady right here i guess is like a caroler if i had to guess she has holy night lyrics in her hand there but little collectible figurine uh, Oh, here's a little the wind in the willows another one of those decorative eggs like we found in the last video but it was wizard of oz now it's this i've never heard of that name so i don't know if it's like a movie or something like that all right a yankee candle holder hopefully there's another part to that and here is the wind in the windows or the wind in the willows again it's another scene like i said like the wizard of oz one i guess it's some kind of series Here's another Yankee Candle one. This right here is a swan and her baby, I think. Collectible little figurine there. Just says Home Co. Made in Taiwan on the bottom. And this right here is the last thing in this box. And it is... A little angel thing that looks like it could have been like a bird bath maybe i know that's really small so i'm probably wrong but could hold some water or seed or something like that to go outside it's pretty cool this box on the side says from bookshelf and we have some figurines in here so this one let's get a closer look at this guy first let me read the bottom it says handmade um in linwell ardalt artware taiwan okay made in taiwan let me see if i could show you guys the sticker there's the sticker, as best as I can focus it. And here's the little guy with the goat. There's one figurine. And it looks like here's another one. Um, Home Co. is the sticker on the bottom. And it's another little farmer boy with maybe like apples and a chicken in his hand. Another figure right here, which doesn't say anything on the bottom. It's another little farmer boy i guess with like two swans which is nice all these look like they're made the same even though they might have different stickers but they look like they go on a set and then this one just says made in taiwan on the back and it's like a farmer and his wife on a bench under some trees see what's in here so we have a few fans at the top some of these hand fans this one looks like it maybe sits on a table but I mean, it's real pretty, a little dusty, but you know, somebody can clean it up, put it on their table, repurpose. These are just little decorative ones that you could put on your wall, but they're real nice. They're not broken or anything. This is just a little basket. I feel like every yard sale, I get somebody looking for a basket, so they'll be happy. The complete guide to needlework, just like a sewing book, crochet, I guess, anything that you use a needle for. Now here are some of these eggs here so this kind of stuff will definitely be in our auction along with some of the other figurines so just for our auctions pay attention to our facebook page we post videos of what we're going to have and that's where you'll you will 100 percent know when we have it because we will announce it on there um, but this looks like just a little 
I don't know, towel or napkin type holder, uh, a maraca. And then, before I sit down, this is just a little hat. This box looks like a bunch of random stuff too. So right off the bat, we have this glass bowl. It's kind of abstract, kind of wavy edges here. And then this is a package of three different baskets. Has some cloth on it. Maybe you put like bread dough in there or something. It's for it to rise. This is one of those picture frame holders. And then we have two of these, I believe. This green color. I don't know if this is a special type of glass, like everybody calls it like, what is it, depression or uranium or something like that. I don't know, but they're cool color green. They're just candle holders. Um, a few more things here. So we have this clock that doesn't have um, a brand on it anywhere that I see, not on the bottom, but it's definitely heavy, so I don't know what this glass, I don't know if it's crystal or I don't know if it's just glass. Oh wait, it says Citizen Quartz in the corner. So it probably just needs batteries to work, but otherwise it's not broken. This next figurine is just a lady with a fan and a dress. It's like that porcelain um, glass type. What we call it on the main channel, that cookie jar glass. Um, and it says Demure Elegance 1835, um, Goebel, Germany. And then it has some kind of mark right here in black. I don't know what that is. So again, if you guys know anything, please help me out down in the comments. So we have this thing. I don't know what that goes to. Maybe a lantern of some sort. On the bottom it says Goreham EP. Goreham EP. And here's another one. So I'm not sure what these go to yet. And then the last thing are these two bags. This looks like, it has like wire in it. I'm gonna take it out. It looks like it clips onto like a woman's head. And the tag says Schleisner Brides Shop Company. So maybe like an olden day wedding hat that goes with a wedding dress. And then in here we have a little bag that has like a little doll in it with their head, the arms, and then what looks like this matches the hat. And then let's pull these out, see what these are. Because we didn't pull these out on the main channel. So this looks like it's a doll. It might go to that doll. It's like a longer dress because it has like two little armholes here. And then this one is the same thing. So it looks like it just goes to the doll. We have a bag now. So let's see what's in our first bag of the day. Some random stuff. We have this thing that's always filled with like fruits and vegetables that sits like on the table for Thanksgiving. I can't remember what this is called. This is one of those Christmas boxes. You put whatever gift in, reusable. This right here, what does it say? Angel of the month, July. All right, is she in there? No. But this little black box is, there's nothing in there. It was a Chris, Christmas pictures, I guess they were in there. The, it looks like they had poppets in there. So that just goes in the trash. Ornament set box is empty. This little heart basket has little hearts that hang off the side. That's kind of cool. That'll definitely sell at the yard sale. A silver pumpkin decorative. A lot of decorations in here. So we have a turkey beanie baby that has that pop it like residue on it. This little like sand stuff down here that goes to these things. The poppets. If you, if you didn't know what poppets were, this is what they do. <laughs> Just to prank people basically. So this guy, little beanie baby, his tag is in like a little collectible thing. His name is Gobbles. So he's in pretty decent condition there. And then there's two more bags in here. This just has napkins, um, Merry Christmas thing. It's a gift for you, a gift card holder. Um, and then these are just Christmas cards that haven't been used yet. And that one either. So brand new Christmas cards. Oh, and and then this bag. Let's see what we got? A bunny rabbit with babies. That's a really pretty color. And then a basket, which I'm assuming she went in. So a quick update. Jeebus actually went inside and put batteries in this, and it does work. Yeah. So I see the little gear right there ticking. 
So it does work, so that's awesome. That'll probably definitely be in our live auction. I even said it's the right time for you. <laughs> he even set the time. How nice of you. You're welcome. <laughs> so let's get into this box. I like these boxes with a lot of newspaper because I know on the main channel we didn't go through it. We picked up like a couple off the top. So it's a surprise to me also what is down there. So first off, we have a wooden elephant. It has nothing on it. But I know a lot of you guys like elephants, so you'll probably see this in the live auction as well. This, like an amber colored bowl. Ha, amber color, I should keep it. And I think this is the top to it, actually. It's like a little rooster or chicken that goes right on top, like so. Completed. So this one, this is a little like fuzzy cat. A lot of you guys said it was Mr. Rogers, like from Mr. Rogers' show, so I'm not sure but it's definitely like one of those finger puppet things so hi how are you god i'm so bad i'm not even gonna embarrass myself like that <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff down here again surprise to me so let's see what we got we have another elephant not damaged at all doesn't say anything but it's the match to the first one that i found there's something tiny real tiny uh, it's just like a rosary and then here's some more tiny things and we have a lot of big stuff down at the bottom this is hmm a little teal looking tie-dye thing i can't even begin oh occupied japan um kind of show you what it says at the bottom as best I can. There's the bottom, and then here's what the figure itself looks like. So not sure what kind of figure this is, but definitely probably collectible. So all these little things might have figures like that one. Um, I mean, kind of. <laughs> it doesn't have the same mark on the bottom, but they're definitely clay made. So here's that one. And here's another one. Uh, this has the same mark as the teal colored one, the first one that I found. So there's that one. If you guys know what collection this is, let me know. I rely on you guys a lot for these videos. <laughs> uh, these two have Japan on the bottom and they have a cork in both of them. So I don't... Oh, they have holes in the top. They might have been like mini salt and pepper shakers. But here's two little gnome looking guys. Now a bigger item, it's kind of light, a bear in a dress, uh, I see Shirley T. Smith on the tag with a number, so I'm not sure about that one, but in good condition, and here is a little angel I guess you can hang on the wall or put on a bookshelf or something like that, another little figure is another religious little figure and this is a long one they wrap them so well which is great but it's annoying to get into them so this is i don't even know i don't see anything written on it right off the wet right off the bat but there's um a hanger like an ornament and then like her face and hands and bottom of her legs are like porcelain and the inside squishy so this doll right here. Next newspaper has Japan on the bottom, and I guess they're bears. Can't really tell, but I think they're bears based on their tail. Another figure, a lot of figures in here. This little girl, she has nothing on the bottom of her. But again, a lot of these figurines will be in our live auction. So if you see anything you're interested in, just follow us on Facebook and check it out. And you'll see a live auction kind of showcase when we're going to have it. Here's a little, I guess, teacup or soup cup or something like that. It doesn't say anything on the bottom, but there's the design on the side. I'm running out of breath going through this box. This is heavier. Wow. This is a, like a glass flower bouquet and a little cup. And it has Ainsley, England, hand modeled, hand painted, fine bone china. So there's that maker's mark on the bottom. Is it called a maker's mark? 
What should I call that thing on the bottom? There's a dead bug in here. It's a cockroach. This one has a little boy with like um, a pickaxe and it looks like it goes with those other figurines that we found earlier. It looks like the same make as the bigger ones. And there's probably five or six more things down here. And here is another little girl like I found earlier. Like this one, this is the first one I found. So here's that one. Again, no mark on her. I guess this is some kind of bell, I already hear it. It is some kind of bell, but it's also, looks like a little kid to me um, in like olden day clothes. But it doesn't have any kind of mark on her, but she is a bell. Another little figure down here, which looks like it is the same as this yellow one that I found earlier. Same kind of design. This feels like a little softer plate. So let's see what it looks like. No mark on the bottom, but there's the designs. There's so many. This one looks like, I don't know, one of these over here. <laughs> They're interesting. And this one looks like probably the teal one that I found first, but it doesn't, I don't see like the same mark on the bottom of that one. There's another little plate that I'm assuming might match the one that I just pulled out, and it does. So two of those. Three more things, and then I'm done with this box. But it has been a fun ride, because there have all been surprises. This one says Andrea by Sadek, made in Thailand on the bottom, and it's a bird. You put like a little tea or sugar or water in there and it comes out the beak. So that's a cool little design picture there. All right, so let's go through actually three more things. Two little ones and a bigger one. So here's another little figure here. Definitely goes in one of these sets. this feels like a teacup and it matches the saucer so hopefully I find the other teacup so that, that's kind of a set and this is the last thing in here and it's a bigger thing so it's like a little egg with it chopped off at the top and then it has some butterflies on it and some feet next tote here we have a bunch of fourth of july american flag type decorations so this bear is like a tin, aluminum, whatever you want to call it, decoration. We have a mirror. Say hello to your beautiful selves in this dusty, dirty mirror. <laughs> Here's a little American flag um, picture frame decor. This to me is like either an office desk organizer or something you put like napkins and then like ketchup, mustard, relish type thing for 4th of July party. This is just a little flag you put probably out in like your garden or in your mailbox or something. It's just a Pledge of Allegiance. And then we have this guy. Doesn't say anything on the bottom. This American flag wreath. A couple more decor pieces. So this is like a, a stitched alphabet in American flag design. And then this little one. Here's a little candle holder. That is American flag. A couple of dolls and bears here. So here's this one. Good condition. Here's this one. Like a little brown rabbit. Here's a bear and a little like, looks like crocheted sweater. Right there. And his tag just says Berkeley Designs. Berkeley Designs Bear. And then this one is a little bit bigger. Uh, his tag looks ripped off. So I don't know what brand he is. And then this, I guess, I don't know, I don't know what went over this. This thing? I don't know what this is for. What are these for? These little, like, placemat type things? I don't know. It says Shirley something Smith, August 1995. So I don't know if that's who made these. I don't know if it's, like, a personal thing. I just don't know. That was another one. And then we have a lot more of these, like, ten... Um, bears and the flag which I'm assuming makes like this whole scenery with the big bear here's another one a girl bear and then here's mr. uncle Sam a hanger for your wall and then 
the last thing in here is this little sign that says antiques. We can literally put this on the front of our garage now and have a store. Um, and I forgot about these last couple things, just this wooden um, heart American flag decor you can hang on your wall. And then this little thing just says everlasting love fragrances of Victorian. And it's just a little decor piece. This box says Karen's of summer shoes and it is obviously not. Let's see what we have in here. We have the Eagle light switch cover. This pretty pink flower vase, which is nice condition, nothing wrong with it. And it says, Laura Ashley, a gift from FTD. Let it focus, there's the markings on the bottom. And there's the inside, pretty clean. What's else, what's else? We have this pretty basket. Does this thing have a price tag? Uh, it just has a number. So I'm assuming this was one of the things in the auction because it just says 335 on it. But that is actually a nice glass basket there. What else do we have down here? This golden teapot thing. I guess it's supposed to have like a little spoon to go in there, maybe put sugar or something in it. it has a little bit of weight to it. Here is like an old milk bottle. Quality dairy ink, grade A pasteurized milk. I wish it had a year on it. This says from Romney, West Virginia. I don't know how many times we've passed a sign that says that. Uh, this little box has, oh, what are these? Uh, Walter and Company Jewelers, Broadway. I think these were possibly cufflinks that we found. I don't know if they had markings on them though. Here is a bowl, good condition, just says 8118 on the bottom, but nice bowl. And a couple more things down here. This, I have no idea what it is, like a stick with a piece of concrete at the bottom. And then this has a decent amount of weight to it. Doesn't say anything on the bottom, but that's what the bottom looks like, so I don't really know what it's made of. But it has this thing that twists. And we have this piece, which goes to something. So hopefully we find the piece to it. And then this, it's me again, Lord, little heart. Um, it says something at the bottom, hold on. Plain Jane, plainjaneink.com is what that is from. And then lastly, it's just this vase with some artificial flowers in it. Smaller box here, let's see what we got. We have a clock that says Herod's Knights, Knights Bridge, London. Good condition, there's the back of it. Just need some batteries. This little bear stitch thing that says Redskins, number 71. And we have a bunch of stuff in newspaper. Let's see what we got. So this little thing, which I think is really cool, has like ridges, feels really, really cool. I think a massager base. Let's see what's in here. A bottle, it says World Champions Washington Redskins Super Bowl. Um, XV11. I think it's 17. Super Bowl 17. And then it has the Super Bowl Champions 1983 like schedule on the back. A little saucer plate that says Lena something. Look at that last name. Lena Lily or something. Here's another vase that looks like the one that I just found. Some pink flowers on it. And then it says Laura Ashley on the bottom. And these are other pieces of decor that are pretty heavy. I can't remember if we determined if they were brass or not, but there's an angel with wings. This looks like a seashell with some kind of design at the top to hang on a wall. This is another seashell, if that's what it is. It's another angel with wings. Uh, another angel with wings. And then this thingy. I don't know how this sits, I guess like hangs on the wall with right here and then hangs on there like this. Is that like a dinner bell? <laughs> dinner time! I don't even know if you could hear me over that. This little red cup here. Two more things left. A little blue vase. I guess that's a vase or a candle holder of some sort. And then lastly we have this little 
I guess it could be used as a jewelry box, but it has like stained glass cardinal on it. I know cardinals are pretty collectible there, and it has a mirror on the inside. So we have another bag. Looks like from the top, it is some decor for different holidays. So let's see what we have. We have a stuffed turkey, which is an actual thing, but this is a stuffing, I don't know, fake stuffed turkey. Here's a scarecrow for Thanksgiving or Halloween, but down here is a little rough. That I'll probably just go to the yard sale. This right here is just a welcome sign for fall, Thanksgiving. This is a decorative Halloween witch to put somewhere. Here's a 4th of July wreath with a little buddy right in the middle. This, I guess, for fall. We have this pumpkin man. Pumpkin slash scarecrow thing. And he even has a hat. A little scarecrow. And here is a lot of glass stuff, but a couple of them are broken. I'll show you the ones that aren't broken. This one. This one. It's just a little cup. And then we have this little jar. It looks like, I don't even know if these are supposed to be on there. The jar doesn't say anything specific, but it has two little plastic pumpkins on it. Uh, this little thing <laughs> with a pumpkin. And then what else isn't broken in here? So it looks like these little cute looking pumpkins went with a couple of these. Maybe they sat next to each other, but this one is the only one that's not broken along with another of these. And I just figured out that these two are salt and pepper shakers that are shaped like pumpkins. A couple more things in here are this hat, which looks like it could be more to a wedding or a church or something like that. It even has a train. I didn't even know hats had a train like that. And then in this bag is the last thing in here has a bunch of these things so literally just newspaper in these pumpkin bags so maybe they just use it as decor put newspaper in put these bags on and set them around their porch or something like that all right guys so that's gonna be it for this video but I want to stress to you guys before I sign off of here that if you haven't followed us on Facebook yet follow us on Facebook and like the page and you guys will see updates on stuff that we have in our live auction when it will be and all that good stuff and if you haven't subscribed on youtube yet subscribe to this channel and also our main channel because we will announce live auctions on the community posts on our main channel as well so follow all that good stuff and you'll be updated with everything don't forget to like the video if you haven't already and subscribe like i said if you're new have fun laugh more peace out